Justin, no. step in a little closer, please. Yeah. The reason we couldn't simply just look this number up in a textbook is this is the first time it's ever been done. You can test these sorts of things with models. You can do it through some dissections and some measuring, but that's all theoretical. That's a guess at what you think they can do. This is realized. This is what a natural predator out there in the wild is capable of. Is this the first time bite force has ever been taken on a natural predator, or this is the first? This is the first time bite force has ever been measured in a wild-caught live piranha. So the Amazon's the perfect place to do it. This equipment functions well in the field like that, and we've got a couple of good anglers that can put some fish up here and see if we can get some chomps out of them. Only of one good angler so far. <laughs> I'm playing with technical gear all the time, so yeah. I don't care if I don't catch a single fish, you keep feeding me fish and we'll keep biting these things. How about giving them that high five I missed before? Dude, this is going to be good stuff. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So there were values we got with, we took Brazil nuts to that Instron machine and actually crushed Brazil nuts to see what kind of force it takes to crack the shell of a Brazil nut. And the highest value we got with a, you know, a pound load was 220 pounds to actually crack through a Brazil nut. Now that, again, seems like an enormous value that you would need to be able to crush a Brazil nut. But when you localize that at a very sharp point where you put it at the tip of a cusp of a tooth on a Paku, it focuses all that energy to a very small spot. So these values are mind-blowing, but I'm expecting, at least I hope, that Paku are going to ramp it up from that much higher. Well, well, we can look at the morphology and try to make those predictions on it. figuring out how different piranha and Paku jaws actually are. Maybe it only ends up being tooth-shaped that actually makes the difference in transmission of force from the tip to the tip of the tooth. Sure, sure. But this this value is, is I think is really impressive for a two pound fish to be generating uh, what 35 times its body weight and, and force is pretty amazing. That's pretty astronomical. Yep. And what's really great is when you start thinking about the the size issue as well. Yeah. Even if we're just looking at you know does the anatomy match between Paku and Piranha? But all of a sudden the Paku we're talking about fish that you get ramp, ginormous. You ramp up so, to a mega Piranha and you know. Put like uh, 690 pounds of force. All right, you let's, know? let's 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 add ten a zero. times larger. Add a zero. Say that again, mega piranha. You ramp that up to a mega piranha, and you're talking like basically you know ten times or order of magnitude. So 690 pounds of force, basically. Put that on the edge of a tooth. <laughs> right. Bite through the boat. <laughs> What's the next step, you guys? For catch more fish. We need to catch more fish. We need more data. This is a great Start. point, but this is one data point. You know, this isn't not enough to make a conclusion. We're really stretching right now for drawing conclusions but what we do, what we do have is a very solid data point so we want to we need to replicate that absolutely that's impressive yeah. thank you guys i'm gonna have to give me one of these man is it safe for me to download this is no it just it has the mechanism to actually be plugged into a laptop but i said that's i'm not bringing my laptop Well, what he told me was, all you got to do is yank the cord and start over. Yeah. So the power source can just be plugged right back in. Now the problem is these fellas at customs. Hold on a second. What'd you say? Do it at the front? Yeah, do it your inside. Here. Piranha like, but got, not quite. I got close. 39. 39 pounds. But you're also what? A little bigger than he was. 200, 200 pounds? <laughs> and I'm also, I mean, again, <laughs> that 39 pounds is across some sort of flat incisors, right? Yeah, exactly. If I could sharpen my teeth for this project. Huh. Yeah, you're basically. That little tiny fish doubled me, yeah, or yeah. close to at least 50% stronger. Well, yeah, you're 100 times larger than he is. Exactly. <laughs> He doubled you. It's impressive. 